Come on. Why are we in here again? Who cares? No one's here. Yeah, but it's the girls' bathroom. I don't believe this. Dude, your parents are going to kill you when they see your reds. No, they won't. Because they're not going to find out. Hey, are you sure about that? Shut up, man. Yeah, shut up. Problem solved. Now let's get out of here. Fire is not a toy and shouldn't be treated as such. Being careless with fire and causing destruction of property is against the law, and the penalties can be severe. We're going to take you off to jail now, son. If you commit a crime in the state of California, whether you're a juvenile or an adult, and you cause property damage to another person's property, you are financially liable to that person for that amount. I didn't know what was going on. I just wanted to see what would happen. And all of a sudden, everything was burning down. And I was scared. I didn't know what to do. It's hard to find a babysitting job that I can get to pay the neighbors back. And it's hard because Nobody trusts me, and it's sad because I want to be trusted. And parents, what you need to know is that pursuant to the Civil Code in California, you're on the hook for up to $25,000 for the wrongdoings of your child. Police and fire investigators are good at what they do to identify who causes the fire and will arrest them and take them into custody. From there, they may have to go to court and stand trial for arson. Once the investigators determine that you set the fire, you are now categorized as an arsonist and will be dealt with accordingly. You can make a difference in your school, your neighborhood, and your community by avoiding playing with fire and discouraging others to do the same. Stay safe and stay out of trouble.